There is a very simple way to type in Greek, Hebrew, and English on your keyboard in any program that you have on your Mac and PC. You can use it in your Bible software, you can use it online, you can use it in Microsoft Word, Publisher, anything. Anything that you type in, you can use this, um, this function, and it's called Tyndale Unicode Fonts. And I'm going to show you exactly how this looks. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to Google. And we're going to type in Tyndale Unicode Font Kit right there. Click that. Download it for PC. We're going to open the file. We are going to run the setup. Allow permissions. Go ahead and accept all the defaults. About a four meg program, so it's not going to make a big drag on your system. Okay, there's Greek. And sometimes they hide back here where you got to click the icon at the bottom to be able to finish up. So let's finish that. And now I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So let's say that you are in Logos Bible Software, you are um, in the Word study. And you want to look up the word um, word. So here you see the word in uh, the word for word is Devar in Hebrew mostly in the word logos or logos in Greek. And when you type it in, in English, it shows you in the Old Testament. Anytime the word word is used in English, it shows you all the Hebrew and all the Greek words that underlie that. And if you click on any of these, it will show you the usages of those and all the passages for each of these different uh, Greek words underneath the word, the English word, word. So let's say that you, instead of typing in English, you want to type into Greek or Hebrew. This little thing popped up right down here in the bottom of your taskbar over by the uh, the sound and the, the Wi-Fi and the battery life and all that. You click on where it says ENG for English. Go ahead and click on Greek. And instead of typing in English now, you are typing in Greek. So uh, you can hit the end S. So the end S is actually usually a V, but uh, it's like in Word, whenever you type that end uh, S and hit space, it'll actually convert for you. So we're going to search actually for the word logos now, not for an English word, but for the Greek word. Of course, it's only found in the New Testament. And of course, also it gives you the Septuagint in here in logos, which is pretty crazy. And now you're getting logos and all the different English words that this word is translated as. So it's backwards. Instead of saying here's an English word with all the, the Greek roots, it's saying here's the Greek word and all the ways that it's been translated in English. And you can click on these in the translation of your choice here in the NIV. And, uh, you know, you can change that out to a different translation right here, which is pretty cool. So let's say I want to do NRSV. But anyway, this is not a tutorial on uh, Logos. It's a tutorial on Tyndale Unicode fonts. So let's say instead of uh, Greek, I want to make it into Hebrew and I want to look up the word Devar, which is a word, a matter, a thing. And again, now we get, of course, it usually word means word or words or a thing or an act. And you can click on all those and see all the Old Testament usages. So my, my point here is, is that, you know, you can type in Greek, English or Hebrew in any program. So let's look at uh, Microsoft Word. Let's go back into English. And let's say I'm let's say I am typing a paper where I need to use uh, Greek font then I can say, uh, let's say for the word, and then I go to Greek logos. And, uh, and let's say I wanted to continue on for the Hebrew word. I'm gonna change this little toggle here at the bottom, Devar. And you can actually point your uh, letters here with your vowels. So that's really pretty cool. And it's very, very simple. You can use it in any program. You can use it in Publisher. You can use it in InDesign. You can use it in, uh, in Firefox. I mean, you can be literally in Google. Oops. <laughs> you can be in Google and, uh, you know, look up Devar and you can find it right there. That's crazy. So it's completely free. It's four megs, Tyndale Unicode fonts. Very, very simple. You can use it in any program because it's a keyboard function. It's not just a font. Uh, if it was just a font, then it might work in certain programs or not, but it's a keyboard function. It literally changes your keyboard setup to be typing in Koine Greek or in Biblical Hebrew. And you can point things, you can give breath marks, you can give accents, you kind of learn a little bit of which keys do that on your keyboard when you convert that. And then, of course, when you're done, you want to go back to your English so that you can type in you know, whatever you need to type in. So that's how you do it. Super simple. Uh, whenever people download or purchase logos, I always point them to Tyndale Unicode fonts because I don't know how you would operate in logos 
And maybe in Logos there is a, a Greek and Hebrew font that I'm unaware of. There probably is, knowing how Logos operates. But this has been very helpful to me, and I hope it's helpful to you. So God bless you. Take care. If this is helpful, we're going to keep giving tips and hints and walking along the way together through our faith and learning to deepen our faith and maturity. So, you know, subscribe, tell a friend, share it on Facebook. That's one of the easiest things you could possibly do. Grab the link in the bar, go to Facebook, throw it on your wall and say, hey, this was helpful to me. Maybe some of you Bible students out there need a good Greek or Hebrew font. Tyndale Unicode fonts. Here's how to install it. Here's what it looks like. And uh, appreciate you watching and we will see you soon.